For sure you should be cleaning your dog's ears every week. We here at Blue Rose have uh, used a homemade recipe that we'd like to tell you a little bit more about. Uh, if you google some of the ingredients you'll find some Basset Hound breeders and some Labrador breeders have this recipe on their website. But It was a Golden Retriever breeder who taught me it years ago and now we're going to share it with you. We call it our magic potion or our secret sauce. And there's basically three ingredients in this. It's rubbing alcohol, genetian violet, and boric acid. Right now, because of the current situation, it's kind of hard to find rubbing alcohol. So you can replace the rubbing alcohol with witch hazel. So basically it's 16 ounces of your rubbing alcohol or your witch hazel, four tablespoons of boric acid, and 16 drops of Genetian Violet. Be careful with the Genetian Violet though because it does stain and it's purple. So if you have a white dog, you want to use a little bit less of it so that you don't get any staining around the ears. All these ingredients and the bottle that we use, I'll have linked below in the uh, description box. So if you wish to purchase any of it, it'll be right there and easy for you to access. These are just simple ketchup bottles that we use um, because it's easy to shake up and to disperse onto the cotton pads. So if you're ready, I'll take you on over for a demo. How we do it here at Blue Rose, we put it on a cotton pad. You can use a cotton ball too if you'd like. Make sure you shake it up because all those ingredients need to be mixed together every time you do it. Take the top off, fill up your cotton pad of your ear cleaner and then we're going to do the ears. Make sure you have two cotton pads so that you use one in each ear. You don't want to cross contaminate. So you do have a little bit of ear infection on one side, you don't want to take it to the other. Also, if you do notice anything unhealthy or wrong with your pet's ear, that does, if it smells really bad or doesn't look like a typical just slightly dirty ear, make sure you take them to the vet. This does not replace going to your vet for any kind of ear infection or ear problem. Okay. Here I'm demonstrating again about how far you're going to want to stick that cotton pad down into the ear, which is not that far at all. You just want to clean out those nooks and crannies. Flip your cotton pad over to the other side and clean the ear leather really well. Then you're going to switch out your cotton pads, get your clean one, go to the other ear, and again go down just as far as the tip of your finger will let you. Clean out all those nooks and crannies, flip your cotton pad around, and clean the ear leather as well. Thank you for watching everyone. We hope that you learned something new. If you did, give us a thumbs up saying that you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you're notified for any new uploads. Soon we'll be doing teeth brushing and Phil will be doing nail grinding. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Thank you.